Mbega chitange Hello, volume up DJ Aliwa I want to thank all the men and women of God here. Pastors from different ministries. Bishops. Evangelists. The parents of Apostle Bav. Abaganda Bagamba Valandiza Chivazi. The Baganda say that they prune what has already germinated. I am sure he has a foundation. I know Musinji. That came from you. So I honor you, sir. And woman of God. And the many other ministers I might not see by face because the lights are in my eyes. Professor Bab, thank you for inviting us here. I was to come before COVID. But circumstances were beyond me. But I thank God that he has given me the grace. To be here. Hallelujah. Professor Bab knows I love him. I have many people submitted to me who are pastors. Many. Bunch. In the hundreds. I have more than 300 pastors from different ministries. There are very few I call my son. Or my daughter. Open me. That man is among the people I call my son. Gwesiswaza. I don't ashamed him. Gwesiswaza. Who I don't embarrass. Tanswaza nangi. I don't. Oh, oh. The one I'm not ashamed of doesn't ashamed me too. And the one I'm ashamed of. Nangi Even me, I'm ashamed of them. Suppose above we are honored to be here. We are excited. And I want to thank your beloved wife. We are an amazing woman. I know you know. Thank you for undergirding this wonderful man. And in a foreign land. And I want to thank all the ministers of Katalaso. Thank you for serving. Amen. In this man. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. We're going to worship God. One song. Then we shall go into the wide. I love you, Lord. For oh, your mercy never fails me All my days have been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head Oh, I will see of the goodness of God Let's sing the first verse again. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. 
Transform us to change us to glorify your name, expand your kingdom. So we humble ourselves that we might find that missing part in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you. you may be seated. Tonight is a wonderful day because we have been given a very interesting theme in this conference. What am I missing? What am I missing? That's a question. And a man asks God when some things might not be working as they ought to. Where we grew up from, the churches that raised us, there was a way we were raised God. And even them, I don't blame them. Because they were also, there was a way they were also taught about God. Now, long ago, 
When somebody did a miracle where we grew up from. The first thing that comes to their head is to wonder whether that was God. More so when God has performed that miracle in someone that doesn't look the part. The image they have in their heads. As the glory that ought to look like God. Because even that honor it came by either age or someone went to a Bible school or someone knows the president or they are a, a close friend to someone they know as a reputable man of God or oh, they are a little bit old they are old enough they have been in the thing for some time or oh, they grew up in the neighborhood or oh, in the courtyard hey. mm. of oh, one that was anointed there in the past years so it was so unlucky for us because the churches that raised us they didn't look so much alike like the people that had gone ahead that were of influence then we drummed no no with uh, this gentleman we grew up in that kind of church so sometimes I would hit that long drum I know how to hit it oh I, 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 I play this one that eh <laughs> simba Now, so we play our drums. Emma and I gave you. So Emma learned that one. So I left it. <laughs> I handed it because I had grown in the ranks. So him and Harold knew Harold that Harold long one. We didn't have the small one. I played Namunjoloba in university, but I played church. We didn't play the Namunjoloba part. So our churches had benches. The praise we would do if you start praising God within 14 minutes, you cannot recognize your neighbor. You would have thought that Halareka passed by. Now, we grew up in a season where machines were a myth in churches. Because we got born again very young. So we had those churches that, that claimed if you don't have churches, the churches we grew up in, we used to play drums. So Bishop Kaisal had instruments. So, so the time he brings them in Kawempe, he preaches. Because he's the one that has machines. 
So even inviting him in crusades, he was invited because he had machines. He had some, but the most important thing is that he had machines. So we got born again in such crusades. There were like two speakers. They put them in two corners. And then you see. <laughs> Christians would praise God. Now, by the time we grow up, there was a new level of ministers that had come. Uh, the United States. Some had gone to America. And uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they had seen God. His glory. <laughs> the one that was faithful became really faithful. Kakati, generation America. Now, when that generation came out of from America, some had gone to Bible school. Some had gone to Bible school. Some had connected with some whites who had the anointing. Pastor Robert they had connected with the TLO's board. They had connected with the TLO's board. You know. Mm. Kati, walubo ana abasome de abasome de Kenya. They are oh, those who went to Kenya to study. Walubo na aba connecting ane Bible school ezaja. There are even those who connected to the Bible schools that came here. Ah, tu ingira muchenda. Now in around nineties there. The word apostle rose up. The apostles were so many. Apostle, apostle. In that generation, many apostles were raised. Now, when we grow up in such a generation, there was a very huge difference. There are people who think I don't even know Luganda. There are people who think Apostle Grace doesn't know Luganda. I grew up in Kawempe. <laughs> From Maogola. Such a katonda chokache it's the grace of God that man and the English came. Even what you're hearing here. Jesus alone is <laughs> He didn't know English. But the Bible taught me English. If a kid disturbs you, English is a problem. Give them a Bible. They will learn English. English. I have a reason for all this story. There was a huge difference between us who grew up in those kind of churches and these ones that were awakened that had been a little washed. Now the generation of the ones that washed it raised kids that were washed. So it was easy to, uh, uh, to know that these ones were raised oyo, under oyo, 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 This one was this one was picked young by Apostle. That one was young Pastor and Pastor 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 So if you grew up around there, there is something that mantles them. They had an advantage, yes. That even the man is so on TV. He would be invited in their church to at least hold their Bible. And the connection is made. That they see Jamal Bryant on TV. And he sees him on TV. And he admires him. The pastor invites the man. If he sees Maurice Serulo, the pastor invites Maurice Serulo. Mm -hmm. If he sees a great musician, the pastor invites the same musician. 
Nasutula sutula mwa wende beku bebifana njine Batu so lako mwono kane baka kendo chimono e, Each connection ne chijira And the connection comes Na haba kone baga Awa andi kila mu internet They have people They write to them the internet And they invite them to South Africa And some are in the Philippines And some are in the Philippines And again the UK So they go to UK And <laughs> It's subtle Na kuma wonga the accent <laughs> Has changed Nga Nzenzi jukila lumu I remember on time one of the young men went to went abroad and came back. One of the pastors where we come from. If you board a plane, that was a great miracle. The man of God. As you still have the, the anointing of the anil. I want you to come and say certain words. I, I want you to drip your blessing upon somebody. Because tonight. Because of the grace of God upon your life. I believe somebody's going to travel nations <laughs> Nachin is already down at the power of God. So the gentleman comes to the pulpit like this. And he says, How many of you have your passports? How many of you have your passports? How many? Where are we? <laughs> what do we need them for? Except wasting your money. And, and wasting 10 years. No money to a Funako passport. Our fathers who maybe sometimes went to Kenya for training. Those ones had stamps in their passports. They were, they were like four. I'm going to anoint all of you. I'm going to travel nations. Never to see this, and we sold. Never to see and we sold. But I remember the people that sold. Many of them had not even yet gotten passports. But you will wonder why I'm telling you such a story. There, there is being raised, but even the chariots were there. You get it. You were raised, but even the horses were available. Mm. But some of us, there were no chariots. You didn't even have one relative Kenya. who stays in Kenya. My uncle in, Leave in these a, ones who had uh, uncles in Pastor Zach. Pastor Zach. <laughs> I was hearing his discussion of recent. So the, uh, the bike hit me. BMX, BMX hit so me. The, the problem is Nagwila could like call us. I fell on chorus. There was only one kid on our village that had BMX. <laughs> the bikes we used to drive. <laughs> you see, we are very old people here. You, you remember, you enter your feet like this, and then you. You <laughs> see, we are very old people here. You see, we are very old people here. Now, <laughs> so when I hear the discussions of Pastor Zach, I don't get him. Buddha, uh, Buddha, Gamba, uh, Brian, Pastor Brian, Pastor Brian, doesn't even know how to speak Luganda. But they went to English speaking schools. You know, basically. Uh, you know, basically. Yeah, you know your uncle in the US. He had an uncle in the US. Now I'm going to get a very nice car, a nice shirt, a nice car. Now you think about Kojabo Nabali Mawokola Semba. But Nanga and Fana, the one who is going to be a man. Who are not for too many? 
Praise the Lord. Now us. When we come out. We become a big problem. Because they ask. Where, where did you come from? Who raised you? Did Pastor So and So lay hands on you? Did you pass by Apostle Mitala? Do you know how, uh, Pastor We didn't know all those men of God. And one of the biggest problems of many people, we didn't pass where they passed. But, even as we used a certain way, hey. If I grew up under certain pastors in Kampala, I wouldn't have been a cult before Sunday. Uh, mm. That's why there are many who look like me. Who understand what I'm talking about? Tisinga tuari ne chituanjura. That if we had a credential, ngachiri mafutage chigo chetuwa kuli damu. That was under the anointing of where we grew up. Bandi gami tia ah, onova ambi mulumbi da wa we. They would have said no, no, no. You are talking about what Apostle Gundi. He sat under Apostle Swan. Now this is what you say. He sat under there. Kubanga because. They only agree with what they can explain. Praise the Lord. But if I take you back to our story, now, like on our destiny, now, me, let me talk about myself. I found something. I found something. Maybe. Many people, most of ministers, are missing. They have not yet discovered. And if you haven't discovered such things, you have not yet understood who you are. You have not yet known God. You have not yet understood your work. A man that has no credential. When they seek God, they seek Him differently. More than he that has a credential. Because what raised us? What raised us most? It was either that God has to introduce you to put you in the open. It's only him that has done because it. Because we are not sons of so and so. My father wasn't a pastor. My mom wasn't a pastor. Our generation. It's the first to serve God in our lineage. Some of you are like me. You are the first. When you check at the generation, it is either religion or witchcraft. Hmm? Mm. Praise the Lord. Kakati. Now. We wanted to explain what many forgot. Because it's written in the Bible. But not many people understand that. Now, if you grew up in our churches and you want to look like this guy who had credentials, you find yourself doing many things which are in the flesh because you're looking for credentials. It starts little by little. The thing called politics. It's not in the LCs or MPs. It's even in the church. Politics. Is the spirit. Of manipulating man. Hey, it's mm. the spirit of manipulation. You're manipulated and you also manipulate. Now we know you go to the Because you're looking for anything that gets you there. If it means lying, if it means making God speak, whatever can introduce you to take you up to that level of uh, uh, reputable names to, to achieve popularity 
Now, if those things are in someone, no matter how old they are, you will see those things shaking him up. And they come to sit in front. Our pastor. We are asking to oh, please occupy the other seat. Behind. And he's like, no, 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 no. Where is your pastor? It seems you don't know me yet. Pastor. Even if it's an error. And the, and the usher has positioned you wrongly. It means God has not yet introduced you enough. There is an honor that mantles you. That even a chair can deny you. If you understood it, shout amen. So they take them to the sixth row. And uh, they get up and say, I can't handle this. Because the thing that introduced him to the world is different. It wasn't God. There is, a, there is a woman of God I've seen, Pastor Doreen. Ask her to come. I, I, I've seen her. Ask her to come in front. Pastor Doreen, uh, bring Pastor Doreen to sit Tantula somewhere here. Mm. That, that lady has a church in Machi. Now it's very um, important manjie. for you to know each other. Uh -huh. Pastor Doreen, Ali, Where is Pastor yeko? Doreen? I've seen her. Ali, I have Pastor seen her in Doreen. green. She's putting on a green change. I am at the change of green. Um, no, now, so I see somebody fighting for a seat. But I see that what was bothering them, they didn't know how God introduces. Do you understand what I'm saying? They didn't know how God introduced But if they read the scriptures, what do the scriptures say? That when you enter a place, you sit behind, are we together? And wait. You sit behind because you may sit in front and one with greater honor is that what the Bible says? And one with greater honor comes. That's what the Bible says. And they get you and take you back. And they, sit, uh, they give the seat to the honor. Now our generation when they pick them from in front and take them back where they belong the thing working on them it cannot be humbled and to the power that has humbled it they will be angry with you they will leave them and talk to you they can even name you a thing why? Because one that puts, uh, uh, gets a chair and they are taken behind, you just tell that they didn't grow well. There is something crooked. There is something corrupt in how they were taught. God. Now that's the bishop. That's the apostle. That's the prophet of God. Now the Bible says to give honor to whom honor is due. Mm. The Bible didn't ask you, you to demand honor because you deserve it. Who gets what I'm Bible saying? The Bible doesn't say that demand honor because you deserve it. The Bible says give honor and to him that deserves it. God didn't ask us to collect honor. He asked us to give it. Now if you've not given it to me, the God that raised me, that's what he told me. That I will seek my God until you give it to me. The question is What am I missing? The, in Uganda you say that What went wrong in growing up 
When you try to straighten it, it just breaks. No, it doesn't straighten it. It just breaks. Because in germinating, it went straight. Can I give you an example? Another example? We had pastors who, who, who in our village. Someone gave them an invitation to go to a certain nation. And they grew up asking for nations. You know them. They, 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 they asked them to bring 20,000 to register. The Christians. There is a discussion we shall bring back one day. That, that made pastors buy COVID certificates. Because they don't have enough wisdom to do SOPs. So when the man opens us up, they didn't ask for certificates. Up to now, there are people with certificates. One day we shall bring back that conversation. And it won't come back in Apostle Grace. Because I didn't buy a certificate. But someone will wake up one day and bring back that conversation. The, the 20,000 certificates. Where, where did they end? Now, elders are not mentioning any name and a church. I'm not going to attack anybody. I don't fight. Even, I didn't even raise my children to fight. But there is a teaching I want to teach today. Now this is the apostolic. Are we together? So the, uh, even the bitter things. If you, because Kakati you know it's medicine. Now, now the elders got photos. And they made ideas. And they went to. And they preached the gospel. They fought. Why? Because when the money was released. Uh, the sharing became a challenge. They left their home. When they were walking in the anointing of nations. Do they enter nations like that really? Are we getting what I'm talking about? So they fought and fought. And they beat up themselves. Seriously. Pastors came back. They couldn't they but they had all gone in the anointing of nations. So I pitied the wives they left at home. And the children who were waiting for bread. And I'm like, if this man stayed and waited God to take him, when he's the one taking him, he would have entered that nation differently. Let me give you an example. Nari. One time God told you, get all your money you have and go to Hong Kong. I'm giving an example. So I got all my money savings that I had saved and I asked to leave from the bank. As I had gone to sign the paper that mm, the bank, getting out of Diamond Trust Bank, I meet a lady. And the lady is like, thank you, Pastor. Well done. How are you? I'm fine. How is the season? Oh, I'm getting a holiday. I want to preach to Hong Kong. I'm like, yeah. no, my husband is in Hong Kong. Let me call him. And she calls him. By the time I reach Hong Kong, I didn't have enough time to preach in the churches that were available. Now that's God sending you. <laughs> so I spend there two weeks. I get a revelation at night. And he asks me to go to Malaysia. So I enter Malaysia. And I didn't know anybody in Malaysia. So someone sends me a message and asks me, where are you? I'm in Malaysia. Where exactly? I don't even know where I'm at. 
And then they're like, I have somebody who stayed there. So they called them. I got somewhere to sleep that night. So I opened deaf ears. Of a son that couldn't hear. When I, discover, I discovered that the ears I had opened was a son of the speaker of the parliament. God can make something hit you. Speaker. The speaker who speaks for the house yeah, Malaysia. of Malaysia, the son doesn't hear. So, Apostle Grace lays hands on the ears and the ears open. And the, 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 the other is a professor, judge. And you see where I'm entering from? You see the gear with which I enter Malaysia? So um, I am speaking So the best picks us is graduation. So I have gone on the graduation of my sister. So they take us to their parliament to prepare for those men. So I've entered the MPs are seated there. So I'm praying some are even weeping. Now mad people call that a cult. Why? Because I had to have a way to explain. It should have been that I know Apostle so and so, Bishop so and so, and then he committed to Pastor so and so, and then the rich and then the people met me. Are you getting me? Tell your neighbor that God also has his own formula. Maybe that's what you're missing. But you have not figured out God's formula. You're still in the sons of men's formulas. You're still in the formulas of the sons of men. You speak against your friend in choir so that they pluck them out because you want to be the one leading. You are still in the formulas of men, the canon formulas. The pastor is invited and they ask you who is Apostle Babu and you say you don't know him at least. I don't trust him. He's not stable. We hear what's about him. Paul said that for us who grow up well, what do the scriptures say? That some preached Christ out of uh, strife and contention. But among us, there were people who were preaching out of strife and contention. The false Christ. The Christ of God. And Paul said, they even added on our bones. And he said the important thing was and we allowed all of them to preach because the name of Jesus Christ is being proclaimed. Now in that wisdom, I don't get the pastor in the rest of my time. If they are still saying Jesus, Philippians 1.18 is a temple and I leave that to God. And I do the pattern of God. Now it's our years that understand this. Because the one of six, you can't understand that kind of scripture. Let me tell you, my brother, if you meet a man speaking the name of Jesus, mind your business. Because the, what does the Bible say? That when this one comes, he will separate, he will separate the wolf <laughs> from the lamb. Hey. Hey. I told you that wasting time attacking a man for selling water. You preach the Christ that doesn't sell water. And the man walks without selling water. And you will see how men will flock your church. Now when I say that they were like, that one is defending him. Now if he's my father, why don't I also sell rice? I'm trying to explain to them that even the kingdom of God is a house. There are things we need to cover for each other. Like, this is not mine to say. Because even the, uh, the Gentiles laugh at us. I sat in places I spoke about Pastor Masumba and I was like, oh, I don't even want to be called a pastor. Because of the words that I've spoken about about pastors. But they come from us. 
But you never blame them a lot. Because the way they started this thing. The introduction was of men. God never introduced them to anyone. Because if God has introduced you, there are wars you will never fight. So I got into pastor's fellowship and the, the unity and I failed. They called you on Tuesday. They have put tea in flasks. We are eating pindas and chapatis. And they get the other pastor and they speak and then they get and they, and they speak about them. And they get this one. And they're like, okay, brothers, I left home to, to discuss pastor's one. So is that what God made from home? We Leave our families to home. For, for you to tell us what that devil yes, is doing. What is Jesus doing? Praise the Lord. So we sat in pastor's meeting. And someone says I have a crusade. And we choose to raise for them. them. We were like 13 pastors. We didn't raise more than 80,000. I knew that a man that I so failed. Oh, start with me please. That's the kingdom of God hey, now. Hey, where we grew up from. One time, somebody borrowed us some benches. As we in the middle of the service, the spiritual son comes in the middle of service. Daddy said, Give us our benches. Even as we have more visitors today. So the pastor of that place <laughs> I was the apostle The pastor was angry Give them their benches So the boy carried their benches At midday in the middle of service Those are the churches that raised us now, I, I don't blame those ones when they speak Because the things that Nastas were doing. But some of us came out. Because we discovered something. That's the thing How do people sit How do people sit There's something else there. There are other spirits. There's a doctor. There's young people telling them to I have people who say this. And I'm like, Pastor. So I ask people to fornicate when I have a wife. How will, what will I tell my wife? The children are raised. What am I telling them? The parents that come with their children are charged. So in that 10,000, nobody understands. So 20,000, they don't understand. You, 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 you are a smart one. <laughs> Are you getting me? When I finished, I gave him a conference. I sponsored his conference. To leave calls of fire on his head. To leave calls of fire on his head. Like the man I spoke to, I sponsored my conference. The whole of his conference. To go back and heal. Because that's how we love. We don't fight. Hey. Hey. When when he, he does evil to you, you do them good. Because that's the only way the world will know that we understood God. Now, this is the problem. The, the what am I missing? That if you grew up in politics, you cannot understand. What God mantles his servants that separates them from others. You think we are all the same. That's why the way we treat ministers of God oh, demonstrates our relationship with Christ. The way you deal with the Lord's anointing. There is a pastor I told. If, if what is upon me is God and the revival is upon you. And it's the same God you're fighting. Your church will be empty. That's not prophecy, that's wisdom. 
And it really ended Now he claims I stole people, church members. Now you're like, uh, do they steal people? Are they pens that uh, it was on a table and then taken? But let me tell you what. Musa, Moses, in Exodus 33, God has appointed him to lead the children of Israel from Egypt. The, going to the place God has promised them. Remember, this was not a promise to Moses. Alone. He promised it to Abraham, but it wasn't fulfilled. He promised it to Isaac, but it didn't come to pass in the, in the time of Isaac. He promised it to Jacob, but it never came to pass in the times of Jacob. Because it's one thing for God to promise you, it's another for, you, for the promise to come to pass in your times. There is a secret of God I want to live with you. I discovered that in God there are things that are revealed to you to teach you how to enter in, in a new destiny. But they can't be revealed before you are prepared to, for those things to be revealed unto you. Okay. And it's the wisdom of God not to give you what you're not yet prepared for. I'm teaching about the power of preparation. There are people they have been hit because they were prepared. And beyond even the purpose of God to call them. When Isaiah falls into the conversation of God, he was not invited in that meeting. He just fell into it. They were finishing up a discussion. They were finishing up a discussion. And he asks a discussion asking, Whom shall I send? And he's like, Hey, you send me. And they sent him. Now, the one that meets it there, you don't tell me that he was invited in that meeting. Or that it was God that had invited him. Uh -uh. No. The prepared heart met what is of God. When God is wondering, let me also say, there are people in this world who hit certain God things. was not even prepared to give it to them, but they it. And it's a Bible that says that he is the rock that is stumbled up. Somebody stumbles on it and they are hit. And there are also people who stumble on it. And because of the preparation of their heart but, and it prepares them to serve God that even the weather were not expecting to. Because when God sought a man, he was the available. And God sought for man. What, how does he seek? Let me give you an example. The power of God. There is power. There is a kind of power that God does not raise you with. There is a power. It's not for the chosen. There is a power. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are walking to and fro to seek or to show you as the that has a perfect man. And, he says, and because you didn't do it right, you, you will be surrounded by wars. He says the eyes of the Lord are looking. There is a power someone can be born with. There is a power 
That mantle whom God will find. They are people God is looking for. To show himself strong on their behalf. Some, some, some of us maybe certain things we were born with, but I've seen things that I wasn't born with. They just met me. But many people don't know that place. Instead of seeking such places in God, God, we just start to popularity. That's why in the things God got out of my heart, I'm not a man of cheap popularity. That's not pride. That's not pride. They may call it pride. No. The truth of it, I know who I need. It's not pride. It's not pride. There are places I've been invited and I refuse to go. And somebody's like, but this place. There is a gentleman he said, if so and so goes to the president and also so and so goes to the president and even so and so goes to the president I also have to go to the president. Eh. So what he wanted he has to be introduced to power. On greatness. Mm. And yet us, some of us, whether I meet him or I don't meet him, that's not important. That's not important. That's why you never see me on TV. Bad Black is pregnant. What do you think? Pastor so and so did this. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> so so what do you think about it? What do you think about it? You are the past of Kampala. Tell us. Uh, you know... Uh, so they take it like a discussion. Uh, uh, the NBS guys are from here. We are just running away from them. Mm. If when I wanted a when I wanted a TV, I just got manifest query. Now manifest is on air. <laughs> hey. No pastor has a bigger pulpit of TV in East Africa. I'm on TV in Africa because I didn't take myself there. South Africa boarded a plane and came looking for a TBN Europe. TBN Europe. A white man who saw it and said God he would pay for this God TV. An American man, I even never met he him. He said I was sponsored this program. Now, some of us things that introduces us Jesus introduced me. Now, do we understand where we're going? I've told you where we come from. Nobody comes out of there. If it was not God, there is no bishop that knew us. There was no reverend that understood us. There was no apostle. Who, 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 you may be here. When you look at like me, that's the one I came for. You I came for you. That when you look at the big guys, nobody knows you. When you TV, nobody knows you. you read in the news, there is even nobody connected to you. Maybe they married your brother, boss, your auntie. Even your class, nobody raised. That if it isn't for God only, it isn't for God only. You will struggle with this world. Am I preaching? Praise God. May God introduce us. May God introduce us. May God introduce us. May God I have met people in Uganda. Many people are dying to meet. Now me, I'm running away from them. 
Me, I'm running away from there. Many people are like, if I meet you and so, so I'll be okay. okay. Yet, us, we are running away from there. Why? Because we know who we are running after. We are not running away from them because we don't love them. We discover that if you are not running after someone, we will never appear like we are running away. And some people think we are avoiding them. No, we are not avoiding them. We are just running after someone. So Moses gets the children of Israel and to take them into the promised land. As I've told you, God spoke to Abraham, but it never came to pass in his time. Did you know that you can get a promise that never comes to pass in your time? In the time you have to and it comes to pass in your children. Now all think it's eh, it's it's the way of God. Sometimes no. Sometimes it's the spirit of pleasure. Did you know that if David was wise a certain way he would have built the temple? Now what he did he was building the temple. He bought everything. Every precious thing to build the temple. Not so. But after he buys everything, God tells him, no, 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 you have a lot of blood. He had to kill those people, but then. Not all have to die with the sword. I the Not all have to die with. Me. Even wisdom can kill without a sword. The anointing alone. Gata can kill without using a sword. The angels can kill without a sword in your hand. If, if God judged him for shedding a lot of blood, yet the enemies he killed were enemies of Israel and they were enemies of God. God was <laughs> God was blaming the pattern. Now that's what Moses is talking That even if you have the zeal, to, to, you don't bury the man in sand. No. Wait upon me. I will give you a pattern. No, I have And then he, he Bible says that God didn't speak to Moses for 40 years. And by the time he appears to him, now the time for execution has come. But the time for preparation was not enough. Because the place that he appears in, had first, he had frustrated it. He had left it. God wanted to prepare him in Egypt. He didn't want to prepare him in the wilderness. Now you may think no. that it was the will of God for him to go to the desert. No. He killed a man he had to flee. And God is like, you did that the wrong way. I had to teach you from here. Now look at how you play. Now you who doesn't know how men work. Let me Hey, let me put you among sheep for you to learn. But what can a sheep teach you? Are you getting me? What does a sheep teach? Any pastor taught by his flock. 
Na ye yava, yava but he left, he left a place where he had to be told. These things are important. Now, you, yeah, yeah, you hear that and say a cult is talking. Ah, uh -huh. That's how they are. That's how they are. That's how they are. Kakati. Mm. Singa omus, ero kula ganti. To show you that God had not spoken to him for 40 years he appears unto him and he's like even if you didn't know me for 40 years Unfortunately, time has come that you should go now the one not prepared is the one living to go and you see how he speaks who shall I tell them that has sent me you, you ask that to God but, 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 but I can't speak. I, 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 I stammer. Give me a sign. Take a Put your hand in the dress and get it out. Ah. Uh -huh. Now you, now you reply. Take it back. Now, you, now have you believed? Yeah. There are signs that follow men that don't know God. Hi. And there are signs that follow them that know him. <laughs> that, that was a sign of a man believing God to be because he had just tested him. And he brought the pattern and God threw him in the wilderness. Now there are people who say, he, but, he, he loved his people. But the pattern no matter how much you love them, it's there. Like I told you, there are certain things that can't that can't mantle you before you're prepared. That the most humble man, the meekest man, of the face of the earth, that's what the Bible says. He had the biggest problem of anger. Now the spirit that comes upon him He never yes, mantled him the That uh, he wasn't prepared Upon what God had called them for What am I missing Are you getting me or that anger that buried a man in sand Forty years they were not dealt with and you see again as they are crossing, as they are crossing together, where God had sent them to fulfill their destiny and they annoy him and God is like speak to the rock and the Bible says it struck the rod that comes back that anger that had never left as he strikes the rock that he had to speak to and he got him and took him to the mountain and told him see but you will never enter there I have called you to do what you want because this kind I can only handle this in the wilderness I can't handle this where milk flows without cows I can't handle this where there, there is honey where there are no bees if you've handled this now it, if you can strike a rock where there wasn't water Because, because that thing will sit for, for bees. Instead of believing me, it will look for cows. Where is meal coming from? Yet the one that told you doesn't need cows. He doesn't need cows. He doesn't need bees to give you honey. And it's like, ah, let me take one more. Joshua and Caribou. So they were the ones that went they to were spy. They made all and these they funny come things and they came back with a good report. Those are the men I need. Those are the ones that can see milk where there are no cows. Kakati. 
Now, don't think that devil is stupid. That when a man is taken to die, and like, I like this kind of body that is anointed, that is not prepared. Hey. And he says that the angel of the Lord contended contend with the devil. When they disputed about the Musa. one body of Moses. Because when the devil gets that body, remember the man's, the man's face was uh, right. He needs that anointing that is not prepared. Right. Because it is the root of all transgression. Now they raised us asking for the anointing. Yes. Yes. It is important. But there is a difference between the anointing of God following you and, and God following you, going with you. That his presence is not only the anointing, it's his wisdom also. Because this man knew it. And they say, you're going to a place flowing with milk and honey. And, and Moses down there, he says, let me get, go down because of time. He asked for two things. Eleven says that God had started to speak to Moses face to face. And God, uh, Moses told him that if you want me to lead these people, but you have not let me know who you will send with me. Yet I know you by name. Yet, yet you said I know you by name. And I've also found favor in your sight. Now, therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, show me your way. Show me how you do what you do. You have sent me to serve. But you've not told me how to do it. What if I meet my people? They will give me their formula. They will give me their way. The things disturbing us today, that we don't do the way they do. We are not bad people. Uh -uh. No. We are not bad people. We just studied their pattern. And we realized it doesn't grow old with the anointing. Not all of them. Some. It does not keep that thing. We feared. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Now, God, what's the pattern that keeps this? If you don't know, I'm now 20 years in the gospel. I may be young in age, but I'm very old. Very, very old. And even the 20 years. I can't think that I'm just speaking. Because there are people calling us young people. And they have preached for only 10 years. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. When he asks him to show him his way. And then he asked me, me I heard that. Uh -huh. mm. When you go down, 15, 15. Then he says, to him, if your president does not go with you, you, please don't carry us there. Because how will they know that, that I have found favor before you? Now they are supposed to go with you. After I found favor before you. After understanding the way of God, and then he asks for the presence. Are you getting me? Then he asks for the presence. Then he asks for the presence. What scares us? That this man saw the ways of God. 
but there are things that never lift at least he led at least now I discovered that the other 40 years were wasted. That's what he's dealing with there. The things he would have learned in those 40 years, he missed them. But the work of God had to grow. Who is getting what I'm talking about? But at least he has the wisdom that differentiates the way and the presence. I thank God that he at least knew that the presence of God is what gives you the favor you need to introduce you to things that matter. Now either you learn how they seek him and you drink until you're full and you learn his secret and in how he does whatever he does. Job calls it the secret of God. It was and upon you seek for the secret of God. Now when you get that, it's even difficult, complicated to explain in two or three words. But when it mantles you, you discover that it's not in your potential. You discover why people break. God has started moving. God has started moving. You discover that it's not in your strength. Every pastor, if you feel you're striving, Instead of wasting 40 years, go back and ask Chichi, what? What did I miss? Because the work of God doesn't have to look like that. Bible The Bible says he called us unto glory. He called us into glory. That's what calls us. There is nothing that pays like serving a God that can't manifest. You pray for the sick and they never no heal. You believe for wealth and no it never comes. You believe for healing and it never no comes. You, you believe to grow and be faithful. Ten years. Like God is going to do something in us. 15. God is going to do You served him a young man. The, you remember the people oh, you, you, with, you even have photos. But the people you are standing with, something raised them. And it left you behind. But it's you with much wars up to today. Maybe the heart is dead. If Christians, God helped us and we dealt with ourselves more than dealing with others. I think that's what God has helped me most. That I, all, I overly deal with my own personal business. I overly mind my business. You can't hear me having said it in the pastor's name. Because the time I have on earth is to mind my business. I am fixing my wires. You will just see something bright in Nansana. Praise the Lord. When I'm fixing, we are just fixing our wires. Where were when we were fixing our wires? They were in politics. Somebody thinks that if they put on a, a, a regalia and they are given a title. My God. Uh -huh. God will raise a kid in Wachiso when he knows it and he becomes a problem. Raise the Lord. Raise the Lord. In every generation he will raise. I'm saying in every generation he will raise. 
Ataka tinze ngamba mantuba na mantuba now, fe. I tell our Nimba people. Nimba ganti kabali ne nyonta. That young people are hungry. Abavubu kabali ne nyonta. Young people are hungry. Bugenda mu UK wa abavubu kati bayina nyonta. Nyonta limba kadaba gendo kufa. You go to the UK. Na yem. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's old people that are hungry. Nyonta limu ba. This side, the hunger is in young people. Mukama yeba zibu. Praise the Lord. That when you understand the way of God and you understand his presence this thing called the anointing if it has followed the wisdom of God it can introduce Praise the Lord. It can introduce. Now, long ago, oh, oh, the, 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 the vessels were burnt. Why? Because we learnt it young. That what you have in this world that you keep is to seek God until He comes. And you seek Him and your lips dry your tongue, your hands, and they look at you. One time people looked at me and they thought I was sick, but I wasn't. No, I was seeking God. The one that used to wear wet size. 34. 34. I, I went to 30. So I, could, I, I had to tie for tight. And my dad took me to check me for HIV. And he said, You check him for HIV. He said, Openly check him for HIV. But the man was seeking God. Because nobody seeks God and never finds him. Nobody knocks and that door isn't open. But we didn't see him. You never saw him him now. Just seek God, you will see him. I told you, seek God, you will see him. Let me repeat this. Seek God, you will come through for you. Seek God, you will come through for you. But there are people who are unbaked. Uh-uh. A half-baked. Hey. Hey. As to put in the fire One side was burnt And they were sent When I tell you that some of us sat for 10 years When we could make the lame walk Yet we could still mop toilets You won't believe it because the one that makes a lame man walk and washes toilets you, you don't threaten anybody you threaten when you step on the altar and then God introduces you now the next generation it has not been taught how to seek God it has, it has been taught politics it has been taught how to elect so and so even Christians now <laughs> you understand all well, once again Do you know the children of Israel appointed a man, a king over them, and it was not from God? <laughs> and did you know that whoever God appoints, even if you don't vote for <laughs> him, tell your neighbor, don't scare me. Are you getting a mazima, don't Speaking tease. the truth, don't threaten me. That's why there are things we never want to introduce ah, us. Ah, no. Don't appoint mm. me. No. I know what introduces me. Praise the Lord. Now sanctify your temple, your 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 tabernacle. Mm. That the place that he has got should stay alive. When it no longer hears the God of God, he doesn't hear the God of visa. It hears the God of visa. That even when he sends you the word and he's going to put it, because it's him that has sent it. To refuse to be in America. We told them, let us stay here. Uganda will become first world. Because of the anointing. I want us to start it from where they will never say anything. 
They should never uh, ex give an excuse. We started from Mukono. I preached in Mukono. And I could go to sleep at We even have a testimony of dogs that protected us when we didn't know them. Where were they? You preach until midnight, one, two. No in the night. No and you reach home and Baka pray kuminem. until five. No and then you eat a ban. No and you take water wa. with it. Where were they? Why should a Nigerian Bariwa. give me a ring? Where were they? Do you understand what I'm saying? There are people I pity. I fasted for a whole year one time. We are seeking God. Where were they? They were in politics. They were in politics. They think if they put on suits uh, this long, then they're. <laughs> That's why our generation, I want to awaken you. We should God seriously. Leave the English alone. English didn't die for you. Even if you don't call me an apostle, just give me the mic, I will show you the power of God. Never turn Peter Bishop when Pakas in the local get power. Just get me the mic and I show you the power. Come and hear us. Praise God. Because the one I'm talking about, I know. If I said that, I'm not talking about Jakutambura. I'm not talking about Jakutambura. I'm not talking about Jakutambura. Because I know who I'm talking about. What are you missing? What are you missing? No, 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 You will see him. Because that's what the generation that teaches the grace but of God the is. Our grace generation, <laughs> they think that the grace seeks God for you. No. Grace does not seek God for you. Grace mantles you to seek God. That's the difference. Now, this is not the law. Uh -uh. No. You think it's the law? Jesus shouldn't have asked us to seek. Jesus, who came full of grace. The Bible says that they were going to sleep. The man who goes to the mountain to seek his God. The one who was full of grace. Grace generation, Tessaba Musa, you are joking. The man who brought grace, he rose up a while before the day and went out and departed into a solitary place. The one that by whom grace came, the one by whom grace came. Jesus finished everything. I don't pray, joking. Now we've got a challenge. Many of the grace teachers don't make the lame. They don't have miracle power. Because they don't know the work of grace. I'm also a work of grace. I teach the grace gospel. And it doesn't ashamed me. There are people who misinterpret it. But that doesn't take it away from me. No. Because if you fast without the grace of God, you will die. If you pray without the grace of God, you can't. But there is a grace that germinates when you pray. Praise God. Now our generation, we have to awaken it again to pray. We should seek God. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. She finds me awake. And sang and nazuk said that. Making sure and I always make sure I don't pray for her to hear me. Because I don't want to wake her up. She also has her time with God. If she also starts her, I don't even want to be interrupted. But mine is mine. You know, when you read the word solitary place, you may not go to the prayer mountain. But if you have a husband in the bed, pray when they can't hear you. That's a solitary place. 
You know there are people who are Mokama, 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 Tata, Kendeza, Mokama, Mokama, Tati, Rocha, Ogana, Mosheni, Mokama, 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 if you've never been a lame man, please shut up. Sirika ko, please shut up. Never, if you've never cast a tumor to dry it, please first keep well. Hey, no nyakatonda wo. Seek your God. generation. Now this generation. Bino be muri amusumba beni hina prophesying at revival. This thing, Pastor Ben is is prophesying revival is coming in Uganda. It has come. Just stage it them bali. It has not just come in those ones. Yes, it came. The thing we are doing in Uganda has not happened before. Now I've done it for eight years. Am I still guessing? No. Neda. COVID hasn't COVID swallowed up many people? Hasn't it swallowed up ministries? Yes. Yeah. It started. They will discover in years to come. That's why young fellow young I'm speaking about 60, 70, there, there. Some seventy and below. Let us seek God. Let us seek God. Let us seek God. Pastors, let us live. Let us seek God. Let us live. Let us seek God. Let us take God. Let us seek God. We should reduce the English. Let us seek God. Kabarande goji gata la kota kosha tabada. Zenazula bomuno nyarabi ka. I discovered if you seek him, if you find him. Zenazula bomuno nyarabi ka. Seek him, you find him. Bomuno nyarabi. When you seek him, you find him. Bomuno nyarabi. When you seek him, you find him. Bomuno. When you seek him, you find him. Nefaba mutwa vayote tunajja. But some of us left are half burnt. Now when you discover it, that you 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 were burnt one side. Go back and be fully burnt. What way you the, the sum are fulfilled. That no matter how much you preach to them, you you're, you're feeding a full stomach. But there is someone that God has made you test a lot of things. But every time you there, you feel something is not yet. You have seen God. But every time you close your eyes, you're like, I feel something. I feel something. I came to talk to a person like that. If you're pregnant, when they need something, they don't need it. Because they don't need it for themselves. Something that doesn't speak to me. Hallelujah. Now we are already pregnant. Even if I feel full, another hunger comes. Because I tested something. Every time I remember it, it stirs a hunger and I feel like I never And I feel like I need to seek you more. And even the next years of my life, I am going to seek you more than I have ever sought you. I promise you that as a man of God. Because there is something not yet seen. You want to shake the whole world. We want to shake the whole world. That men will fly from uh, everywhere to come and see your God. And I told you, there was nothing introduced to you. That you understand what prayer means. Now you are asking what prayer means. Because some of you are just prayed for. But there are people who even what they prayed for you isn't enough. <laughs> you have to go for yourself until you see God. 
Now you understand what we are missing. We are not missing choir, people sing. So get a I'm, not talking, I'm not talking of the intercessors that intercedes at the oh, yeah, program. That is program leading. I'm not, talking, I'm not talking of the intercessors that the pastor left because it's oh, in Tanzania. Program. That one is in program. I'm not talking of the prayer of the altar. I'm talking about, about the prayer of, your, of your solitary place where I know many who can pray from the lights of the sons of men when they can seek him individually. So, people of God, let us go back and seek God. Someone has had this. And they're going to pray for one week. Or three days. Or four days. And they go back. And there's also someone that has had it. And it's going to change their lives. Every day of my life. Every four, five to six hours of my life. Even if she wakes up at four, she finds me reading something. Whether it's for of the Bible or the world. But that's all the wisdom of God. So he's the one that asks me to read, pray like this. Why? Because this generation is demanding a lot. You either know God or you don't. Long ago, people that spoke English never used to pray. They used to be in our churches there. But people who have programs, they come on Thursday to pray. No. It's our people who never went to school. If Selum Kuma sits for a whole week, he doesn't lose anything. So he doesn't come because of the anointing. He, he comes because of his sorrows. But that one that got a job and is working, so and they're, and they're like, I should leave my child at home and seek God. That takes God. I asked for the whole world. I asked for my generation. I didn't ask a big church in Machinga. Let's get up on our feet. We are going to pray for some good minutes. Tell your neighbor we are going to pray. Don't make any other program. Even if Liverpool is playing today, you will have to wait. Liverpool didn't die for you. Hey, don't play that I feel the anointing. Ooh. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The real one. Let us raise our voices to God and pray. So parakata la parando robosa. Zepente ke le parakata la 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 bakash. Ziko taka parando robo zibara bakata la ba. Turn. Ziko telele mondo robo zike telele bakara ba ba. Ziko to robo di parakata la la ba shando robo se. Roko to robo zilo lo robo shanda rababa ba. Rete kene ne bo zondo robo di katala la la ba ya. Asha rababa ba 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 ba
The Bible says, Seek God until He come and reign righteousness upon me. And the things will
Sakatara, <laughs> 
Yeshua. Oba magesi. Oba mani. Obo muanjusi. Maroko shakata la 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 lega. Soba la lego shi la 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 ba. Soko bara toba la gate. Ababu ba mulekwa. Reko si ba la go setele. Kebali na yamba. Neka tondo ba chita ewa ba mulekwa. Oba ba wa ba na muandu. Reko si ba lega sonda ba la lega boto. Soko te le 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 bo. Si le 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 bo. Soko pra la go saka chara pa la lega. Roka sapata la kota pa. Soroko shaka tara bala nega, rogo zabaga tapa la dago, rogo shia na makote ne bala ta, rogo seke tele bala la 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 lebo, sala la 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 lebo shaka ta, kosa la 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 lebo sa, rogo sala la 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 ba, sora le 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 lebo kosa la 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 ba. I believe in you. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. You were great. 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 Demons tremble at your prayer. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything we tell about you is great. Telling you are great. You are great. You are great. You're so great. You are great. Great is your mercy, your loving kindness, your tender mercy, 
Day after day, Forever faithful.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I wanted to call him, but I see he's, he's so far. So allow me to finish the service. Let's put up our hands. I want to release something and I'm going to count only up to five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Receive it. Wherever you are. Power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. And everything it has done. If you're sick in your body, I want to decree that you are healed now. I want to decree today that somebody has been set on a course of destiny like they've never expected. There are people who are separated today. You are separated you in a way you never knew. You will see it in the next season. And you will remember this day. In the name of Jesus. Mighty hand clap to the Lord. Let me do this. Let's give the offering. Don't give me, give the church. I don't want to take a coin from here. No. But it's important to give. And I want to pray for your offering. That may my God supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm asking we give. Pastor. Pastor was somewhere. I didn't want to join. So, Let's do this. Then I can hand over. That whatever here. So those of you who have come with your offering. It's for the church. But I know this man has spent so much. In this conference. So it's prudent. For us to give. Why? In the presence of God. Come on, let's give. Let's give. Let's give. Everywhere you can enter. Outsiders, you can also come in. Quickly, there's another basket there. Now you know.
Tangal or work platforms. Let's give quickly. And your kingdom shall not pass away. Oh, and shed a Blessing and honor. Blessing and honor. Glory and power. Glory and power. Into the ends and of days. Into the ends and of days. Bara zataribu sun. Renda mala satela. Someone take a minute. And just thank God. For the word. For the impartation. Take a minute. Zale molo sota. Rike bolo zumore balaya sat braria. Father, we thank you for such a wonderful word. We know it is not just a word. It is not a man that has just spoken. We have heard you clearly. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for you love us. And that's why you speak to us with the very spirit of the Father. We thank you, you have fathered us. You have saved us from the way of destruction you have aligned our destinies you have preserved some of us we thank you have answered a lot we thank you Jesus that you personally are calling us back into a separate place your spirit is drawing us back your spirit is drawing us back your spirit is drawing us back, drawing us back. thank you Holy Spirit for you cannot let let us undone. You can't leave us undone. You began a good work. You shall finish it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for the voice you have given unto us in this our generation. We are and yield in the mighty name of Jesus not to miss anything that you imparted in them for us. We take it. 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 We take it take it. We pray that even as we leave this place, King of praise, let these words put a mark in our lives. Bless a milestone like the very insight has been that after years we shall look back to this day and we shall remember these words that set us on the course in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakande ya zile bolo soto brianda Kemala ya zika la mala sata alaba Thank you God 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 I still feel electricity in my body It has been heavy Thank you Holy Spirit Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. Who are we to be loved this way? Who are we that you purpose that this day will be set apart just to speak into our destinies? into our ministries, into our careers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We shall treasure it. We shall not be as those 
to whom treasures were cast and trampled on them like swine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to ask you to put your hands together and give God an and Thank you, Lord. 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 Have your seat for a moment. You can believe with me that you do not need a hand laid on you. There is nothing that can withstand your destiny, your calling, nothing that can withstand it. Only you. Only you. Only you. Only you. Only you. Wisdom has been imparted. We know what to do. We cannot deny it. The man has told us his secret. In the simplicity of words. His secret is told. It is told. And I know him. Whatever he speaks, he practices. I know him. He has just broken a secret. If you were attentive, we have no excuse. This is our generation. We have no excuse. This is our generation. We have looked at men that used to tell us that they are superstars, but they could not tell us what they do in the sacred place. If we have a father who can tell us and call us to enter there and take it for ourselves, we have no excuse. We have no excuse. Lord, we thank you for Apostle Grace. We thank you for Apostle Grace. We thank you for this gift that you entrusted with us. We thank you even for the patience, for bearing, long suffering that you have toward us to understanding this mantle. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Apostle Grace, Grace, my father, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for loving me. So much that you put your shoes on your feet and came this far. I know how busy you are. I know how busy you are. I know how many appointments you have. I know how many people are seeking for you. There is a reason you are here. I thank you for all of us. I thank you for all of us. I thank you for all of us. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you. It takes too much to raise a son. But it takes too much to raise a generation. We thank you, Apostle Grace. Thank you. Thank you. May the Lord that gave you unto this generation established you for that very mandate keep you standing keep you for us keep you for us to the integrity of his holy name I want to thank you for coming for this conference thank you so much for coming 
Thank you so much for coming. I feel I, I, I would want to do better and better. I wish I could organize such meetings again and again and again. That we can listen to those instructions again and again. Again and again. They indeed serve too much. God help us. Uh, I understand the nature of tomorrow. That many of us are ministers. And we have to do certain assignments before tomorrow's services. So I intend to let us go as early as now. I'm not taking this any further because I even feel a weight where I'm standing. I just want us to speak the words of grace and we shall depart from here. I will request uh, the administration and the protocol to lead Apostle Grace inside the office briefly as the masses depart kindly and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone there and you want to receive Jesus Christ as your personal and Savior? I, I don't want you to miss this. There is a mark on this day. Raise your hand if you want to receive Jesus. If someone is outside, you can still send them in. This is the greatest gift you could ever have. Raise your hand if you want to receive Jesus. I want to pray with you. Raise your hand. When you say hand, head of that person to come over here. Was there a hand? Was there a hand? Was there a hand? Clap until they come. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do you have another one from here? Zali Bariala Solo Boloyo. Come here. Sembera wano kumpi. Come here, sister. Sembera wano kumpi. Can you imagine this so? Memeno. Would you would you expect her to be an ordinary one? One is musu video kubero muntu wabulicho. To receive Christ in such a meeting like this. Kutwa ida Christo mulukunga nangaluno. Repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. You died for my sins. Another one is coming. We shall wait for her. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Okay. Repeat these words after me. Say, Father. I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. I believe with my heart that he died for my sins and he was raised for my justification and glory. Today, I receive the forgiveness of sins and I receive the life of God. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ, the Lord and the Savior of my life. I declare I'm born again. From today, use my life to expand your kingdom in Jesus' name. Right now, in the name of Jesus, raise your hands. We commit you 
to him that is able to keep whatsoever committed to him. You shall not fail in life, no setbacks. Your journey of salvation shall not have struggles. You shall understand God. You shall not die before you fulfill your purpose in Jesus' mighty name. And I count it down. The counselors, please help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for the patience. Thank you so much for the patience. Let me ask the choir. Can I ask the choir to come and help us with a song as, as, as we, we, we exit? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We make a miracle. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Where are they? Oh, 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 oh. we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, my God that, that is who you are. Take it. 